Jones Chapel United Methodist Church in McMinn County, Tennessee. That's where my grandparents are buried. I've always thought they were full of hate and awful. They were going to leave the United Methodist Church over the issue of LGBT stuff. A bunch of churches are splitting off, hate mongers. The United Methodist Church's official position is going to be acceptance of LGBT. And so the church is deciding whether to be independent or to go with the global. They're definitely leaving the United Methodist Church. They're taking comments on this vote and they said they would not interrupt anybody and they would not argue with you. They would just let you say your piece. They did that with everybody but me. As a member of this church, it's been weighing heavily on my heart for a long time to talk to you guys about the LGBT stuff, the reason you're leaving the Methodist Church. It doesn't matter what I believe. It really doesn't. But I know that the Bible tells us that God is love. And I know that LGBT people are the most discriminated against and hated group of people on this earth. Yes, sir. I understand that. I understand that. Right. But you are interrupting. You said you wouldn't. I know you don't. Unfortunately, it's weighed heavily on my heart to tell you okay. Hold on. that if this is about our vote, it's not so fine. If it's not about our vote, it's a, it that. is about the vote. I understand that. I just, just let me say my thing. You said you'd let me say my thing. Well, I'm not going to, I don't want to hear this about the, about I know the you global, don't want to hear it. God is telling me that you need to hear it. I don't care what you say. These this, people, is the, this is not the time or place. These okay? people are being killed the time around the world for just existing. Jesus did not reject people because they were sinning. His friend Mary Magdalene was a prostitute, but he accepted her and loved her because she was a human being. And these are, these are human beings who just have love in their hearts. And what I would say to you is just, I understand that. Uh, what I would say to you is just consider that these people are ju just, just want to exist. They just want to exist. Are you recording this? Are you recording this? I asked you from the start. I don't care what you Please leave. Leave. What I want to say is, you guys, just just extend the love of Christ to everybody you meet. I asked you to leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Take your hands off me. I'm leaving. Have love and courage and accept people. There are closet gay people in this church who are no longer here because they think they're going to be killed by you people. Because they're afraid of being attacked and physically assaulted by you people. The way you just shoved me out of this building tells me everything. Christians. Following the teachings of Christ. Jesus. And what I would have said was, LGBT people, all people, are God's children created in His image. And God is love. And this thing you're doing is hate. Do your works bear good fruit? Matthew 7? <laughs> this hurts people. Excluding... LGBT, being hateful towards them, that is not good fruit, is hate. The Southern Baptist Church exists because of the issue of slavery. They split from the Baptist, and that's how that church formed. That's exactly what's happening here, except it's LGBT stuff. My parents were still sitting in that audience as I was being thrown out, and they did the vote. I don't care how it went. I texted my mom, and I told her, make sure that my church membership is canceled before you leave. Awful people. Terrible, terrible, awful people. They always have been. They turn people away from that church left and right. They're a stain on our community. They're all evil. I hate that I let them get me off track. I didn't say everything I wanted to say. I hate that they're full of hate. I just want to say to my LGBT friends and family, I love you, and I wish I would have done a better job 